Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, shut him up, at least. <laughs> so this I also have it on blue. Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the last part of this week's series. Uh, what are we calling this series? It's called uh, additional content. Additional content rewards. <laughs> Um, <laughs> question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Additional content, I guess, is the name of this series. Whatever. Well, uh, if you get the Blu-ray special of Hook, you get additional content. But you shut up, Pete. Come on. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I have the most fabulous ponytail in the business. It's Nicholas De Jesus coming at you, and it is fabulous. And I'm joined by my two best friends in gaming, my cohorts, if you will, motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 if you want to know why I put up my finger, then check out. Uh, Wednesday's episode and Monday's episode, and you'll see exactly why. Uh, I have to my direct left, Mr. I'm Wondering himself, the host with the most, Mr. Peter Anderson. Hook is a good movie. That's it. I'm done. The people, the people know. I have spoken, the people will know. <laughs> Netflix, Hulu. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and to my, my far left... is around the world. <laughs> and to my, to my far left... <laughs> I have the biggest Zelda fan in the world. If you don't believe me, he has the tattoo of the Triforce on his arm, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and the it? Master Sword in his pants. <laughs> you want to say Jeremy that so Bird. bad. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Biggest Zelda fan in the world coming at you once again <laughs> with the Master Sword glowing and powerful. <laughs> you want to say <laughs> the Master Sword the like, whole time? The whole like, time I was like, Master Sword, Master Sword, Master Sword. And then you're like, um, <laughs> two tattoo on his tattoo on the arm. arm the arm that ever, the Master but, Sword. But what really matters <laughs> is the Master Sword. But fine, I'll get the Master Sword tattooed on my dick. There we go. We'll make it easier. Then it'll grow with power. Yes! <laughs> I just I just see the thing instead of going like this and not going in time, Jeremy just goes, It's power and up time. It's time for adult Jeremy. Boom. Ding 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 ding. What's the tip? No, 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 Great sword fight is also in Hook. All right. Anyway, here's a thought. Peter Pan 2 is better. Besides, Peter Pan 2 is better. <laughs> well, it's not bad. The octopus... Were, okay. Shut up, Pete. Come on. <laughs> the octopus is not as good as the crocodile. Shut up, Pete. <laughs> here's a thought. If developers want to get people excited about games again and excited about the industry again, they need to take a couple of notes from these developers that are developing now or developers that... Have been developing. Quantum Break. Exciting title. Exciting gameplay. Exciting game. Amazing Exciting game. story. Exciting way of telling a story. Right? Like I said before, and I'll say it again, you didn't need the, 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 the B-list cast of, char- of, of actors. It could have been just as good of a game without those, char- without those actors, I should say. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Different aspect on a game that we've played before. Right, we've all played Torok, very linear based. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, dinosaur hunting, mi- hunting mission. Well, it's different for Gorilla, who's making the game. Yeah, but I'm am saying, they they need to take take yeah. notes from this from from what people are doing. Yeah. I think I made a couple of notes over here about uh, No Man's Sky, which is procedurally generated open world. Right, it's it's generating excitement definitely. I can't Doom. refer to sucking even dry. even Doom, which is taking the other approach where it's just like no, we're gonna go back to bare bones and you know we're gonna have a genuine first person Single shooter person. experience and not have this multiplayer and not have this. Well, they have know, the multiplayer. They, but yeah, but it's that that's not the big part. The big mm-hmm. part is is the single player campaign. The big part is the fast paced action that it brings. The big mm-hmm. part is is getting to play these games in an updated way, getting mm-hmm. a different kind of story. You know, kind of getting to play around with the Doom, uh, with the Doom. What the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Uh, the BFG. Not the BFG. Um, the chainsaw gun. Uh, no, no. I'm not thinking of an object, more of an idea. Uh, concept? I can't. I can't remember. Oh, Just a brutal combat remember. type thing. No, no. I can't think You'll of the think word. You'll think of it. No, I won't. You're a smart guy. No, I'll completely forget it. But anyway, these developers have to take notes from no. from these guys and what they're doing because it seems like the most exciting time in gaming right now is now, mm-hmm. and it's because of these great ideas. These great ideas. Matterfall is another one that we're oh, very excited, wait. excited for. Trek. 
Trackmania was a, a title that we were all pretty much excited for. We never played it. But Best racing game of V3 2016, 2015. We, we were very excited to see a new take on mm-hmm. racing, something that's kind of original, not really, but, you know, just something, something that's fun. Yeah. Not, not the same Out of the old, box. Not the same old simulator bullshit. Not, just, not to, my, to be fair, not another Uncharted 4, something that is different. Because yeah. Uncharted 4 is going off the predecessors of Uncharted 1, yes. 2, and 3. Yeah. It's yes. something completely different, like a Horizon. Okay. Something something interesting, but even still, like like Doom isn't different. Doom is just taking it back to the to the beginning, you know, giving you giving you an experience that you can enjoy. That's very. What? Why am I planking out on Doom phrases? Well, <laughs> I would have to say I'm excited for Coalition. Okay. Who's behind Gears of War Four? Yes, people are saying all, oh, which is the continuation of the Gears, but it takes place, I believe, uh, years later with the son J.D. Phoenix. But it's a much darker, from what the looks of it. It's a darker, more grounded. It happens in one night. It sound, it's rumors are it happens in one night. So that's interesting because they're taking an aspect like an Arkham Knight in one night, even though things can't be done in a night. I know, <laughs> Nick, we've been through that. But it, it, it adds to it, you know? I'm not saying that... It's it's going to play like yeah play. it's going to be playing Gears of War but I think the atmosphere adds a lot. I'm you not know? I'm not excited for Gears Four. Like everybody's talking big 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 story like big things about Gears Four and I'm just like but that that's I've already played three four of those so games. So are you yeah. excited for let me say Mirror's Edge Catalyst? Even I am, there but was... there's only been one other one. You know, like like they're trying yeah. to like reinvent that, and I am and I'm not because I played the original and I'm not a big fan of, okay. of the. Of what that. about um? Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. No. Really? Really not. Really, I want to play the game just because, like, you already hooked me in. The same reason I want to play Mass Effect Andromeda is the same reason I want to play Metal Gear. You already hooked me in with the story. Like, I just want to see where the story goes. That's okay. the only reason he I just play. doesn't care anymore. I just want to see where the story goes. I don't really like. Don't get me wrong. Mass Effect was a great experience for me. All three of them were like a phenomenal experience. But like to me, that could have just stood alone, and you could have gone on to something else. But now it's like, oh, it's Mass Effect Andromeda. Well, you could have just made fucking something Andromeda. It didn't have to be Mass Effect yeah. Andromeda. You could have just made another fucking franchise. What's interesting now, and in, um, with games coming out now we have a lot more of um, first person narrative in your Firewatch in your Gone Homes so uh, you're not a big fan of that kind of genre type thing but that's something where a lot of people were taking more in depth look even Telltale with doing The Walking Dead you had Life is Strange coming out you have uh, the episodes of Final Fantasy VII, which is going to be fucking six years apart. Because they're full games. So, you know, every fucking six years, you're going to get part two of episode seven of Final Fantasy, which is a whole another story for another time. <laughs> um, but no, I, I like what developers are doing because they have some of these big companies, like Gorilla, who's been working on Killzone all their time. They are first-person motherfucking shooter people. But now they're coming out with Horizon Zero Dawn which is a third-person action shooter set in a post-apocalyptic, machine-driven craziness, which looks absolutely fantastic. And it shows that people like Sony, people like Microsoft, are giving these developers freedom into what they create. There's been a thing saying, well, look at Quantum Break. I don't know if it's freedom. I think Killzone was a dead franchise, so they needed something... Really? It's it's their... Killzone was a dead franchise. It's their flagship shooter. A terrible not, shooter. But yeah. It was a dead franchise. It was it was gone. It was like... What what was the last Sh- Killzone? Shadowfall. Shadowfall. But it was wasn't... Dead in the water. Yep. Dude, a 45 fucking gigabyte install? Dead. Done. You ate Yeah, a, but everything is ate now a hat. No. 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 I love it when he does that. <laughs> no. Well, this, the arguments are back. <laughs> no, but matter... But I mean, Quantum Shadow Break was, was like 50. Terrible. Quantum Break was 50. Quantum Break was a big one. And the episodes were streamed in. Yeah. If you download the episodes... Yeah, they're like the 75 epi- gigabytes. Yeah, they're 75 yeah. gigabytes each. I don't need that. I have internet. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but... So don't don't talk to me about over stuff in the freaking box, motherfucker. <laughs> but no, Shadowfall was just a terrible game. Nobody fucking. But I'm saying that. they're also. But look at Quantum Break. 
You know, they close Lion Gate Studios with Fable Legends, and here comes Quantum Break, which is made by Remedy, and this unique idea, similar to what, like we said, with PsyOps. And all these different people are coming out because I feel indies really had something to do with it, where you have these games like, like I said, Gone Home, a, ta- a Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. You have all these bro force that was free last month or free this month on yep. PlayStation Plus. You know, and all these cool indie games that are pushing and making developers and the bigger EAs, which is the runner-up for the biggest studio, uh, Ubisoft, and all these Publisher. big... Sorry, publish like step up and say, okay, we need to see and give our teams, like Mo- Ubisoft Montreal, we have to give them hope to say, okay, we want you to try something different. Okay, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, put cars in, put a zip, zip line in, you know, oh, you want to use a cane and two characters? Go for it. Have a male and female character, you know? I feel like they're pushing it because... Gamers are tired of the same old shtick. You have your Call of Duties come out every year. You have your Maddens. You have all these games that are always coming out. And you have your standbys where the Uncharted, the Gears, the Halos. So when something comes out there and that's unique, you know, and people take hold of it, something to behold. Quantum yeah. Break, something to behold. Sunset Overdrive. Something to behold. Is something to behold. It was an Xbox exclusive, but they saw what they did with Insomniac, Ratchet and & Clank. And then they're like, okay, here's a violent game with curses and big guns and basically in-your-mouth shit. Go play it on Xbox One. And, you know, if it wasn't for some of these developers taking these risks, we wouldn't have the game slew that we do today. We wouldn't have your Quantum Breaks. We wouldn't have your Cupheads coming out and all these type of... No Man's Sky. But No Man's Sky is out of nowhere. Like, yeah, you're you're talking about big time developers giving the leeway. Like No Man's Sky was 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 independently funded from day one. Yeah, <laughs> where where Halo Games or Hello Games was was actually building iOS software in order to fund No Man's Sky, mm. and that that's where that comes from. But mind you, there's there's these new ideas that are coming out, and that's where you're getting the push from. And I understand that that's what you're saying is that you got these indie developers like Hello Games that that are coming out with these great ideas and the develop or the publishers and, and, and kind of the, the, the check writers are saying, Oh, we need something that's actually gonna gonna boost sales, so yeah. give us yeah. give us something original. Um, one point five million years it's saying to get through all of No Man's Sky. Where'd you get that number? There was said in an article. One point five quintillion years. Is that what it is? Yes. That's more than a billion. <laughs> that's that's a lot more. Yeah. Do you believe it? Yeah, it's like exploring a universe. The game to end all games. <laughs> it's actually exploring a galaxy. I really hope it sucks. <laughs> just to piss you off. I love when you come out of day and just got this grimace on his face. It sucks. <laughs> no, because he's going to be the asshole like me and be like, let me tell you something about Quantum Break. Uh, well, no Man's Sky. This game, I like it. It has problems? Yes. But let's not focus on the problems. Focus on the positives. Accentuate the positives, hide the negatives. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the greatest games cast in all of Albion, all of the Mushroom Kingdom, and all of the past, present, and future locations of the Assassin shit series. It's not shit anymore for you. It's all right. 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 I'm going to interrupt you now. you try to get through this again. We're three friends who bring you... Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Like, just the thought <laughs> of, I'm not doing of you I'm about doing... to screw with me is screwing me up. <laughs> We're three friends who come to you every Monday. Are we? Wednesday and Friday. I thought it was Thursday. Shut up, Pete. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to hit you so hard. <laughs> And we bring you lovely topics that we bring you every uh, three days a week. And we also bless you. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Let's Plays every Tuesday. <laughs> we also bless you with Let's Plays every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, from time to time. Bless oh. you. <laughs> Such an asshole. I'm sorry. Yeah. I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> Ah, oh, we also bring you uh, the biggest news in gaming on our one-up news segment brought to you by Pete and Jeremy. And we, from time to time, honor you with Let's Plays. Or no, live Twitch streams. Live streams, that's what we honor you with. Yep. Uh, if that sounds like something that you'd be into, 
share our beautiful faces with your beautiful friends, and subscribe to the channel down here or there. I think this is subscribe. No, that's subscribe. That's this like. is like. That's like. No, you're like. I'm like. These are like. That's subscribe. <laughs> but now on to the topic at hand, which is rewards. I, re I do not reward you for that. <laughs> Let me tell you something about. May I begin this one? Yeah, absolutely. I, I have a great. I mean, I think you started every one of them, so. No, yeah. that was a lot. <laughs> you started the second one. You know what? You could start because no, it's your episode. No, 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 please start it. Start it. <laughs> Here's what I think about rewards. Tell us. Collectible rewards. I am not a fan of. Why? I don't like collectible rewards. I, I don't like going around collecting stuff and then unlocking something because of it. Um, what I, I do like. I gave up on that shit a while ago. What I do like is earning a reward through actions. So, like, uh, Devil May Cry might be a good one, a good example. To get an S ranking in Devil May Cry, you have to perform some pretty spectacular feats when you're fighting. And if you get the S ranking in all the levels, you get to unlock things. So that's what I do appreciate, is... Working towards unlocking something as opposed to, I collected 50 of these and now I can buy, or I collected 50 of these so now you get that type of stuff. You don't like that. I don't like that. See? I, I like, I like, like actual actions that, that reward that me for the I actions. Do. See, I have to argue because, and recently I'll bring up Ratchet and Clank, having a great time, and I went into the menu and I saw extras, and it was a whole bunch of gold bolts, which is the rare thing to collect. You have 28, yep. you have to collect. And I start collecting them, and I look, and little by little things are getting unlocked, which is cool. Um, one is like you instead of uh, Ratchet's head, you have a robot head. Instead of seeing the game like this, you're going to see it in a film noir scene. So now the That's game cool. looks like a film noir. You know, coming up Fair is Roger, Roger. coming up is you can play the game in Ratchet and Clank 2002, which is the original release date. So you can play it and it's original form, you know, and it's cool because normally I'm like you, I'm not a collector. And yes, it may contribute to Ratchet and Clank, but I'm like, these are cool things because it's not like get 28 and all these things become available. It's like, no, if you get six gold bolts, you get, like you get to use this. That's you know? exactly what I'm talking about. But that's exactly what I, I know. But I'm, I'm telling you why <laughs> I'm enjoying it because it's not, it's something where we're all not trophy people. We're all not achieve, uh, achievement people. We will not be getting platinums on every game we play. I play Wii U. I don't get any of that shit, so fuck you both. You have a PlayStation 4? Yeah, no, yeah. but I play my, I'm playing my Wii U a lot more. Yeah, he's been playing Pokemon Tournament. He can't put it down. Yeah. Did you have to be Pokemon Tournament? That's been I'm another start <laughs> for another time. The reward is you did it, and you got Shadow Mewtwo for it. Shadow Mewtwo and regular Mewtwo. There you go. See, See but like, like in, in Jeremy's example with Pokemon Tournament, like, make get a get a perfect get a perfect uh, uh, along the campaign with this character, and you unlock different. Like that yeah. seems more worthwhile to me as opposed to because then it's just like a trial and error. What so it's think? like a trial and error with that then. Why with Devil May Cry, it's like oh, I need to get an S rank on every single one. No, I need to get an S rank on every single one to get this. So it's tried and true to actually. Perfect your skills in the game. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So I'm saying for somebody who may not have the time, and I'm just argument's sake, Angel Devil, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> is something like a Ratchet and Clank where it's you collect things and it progresses as it goes. Look at Halo like with the skull. Isn't Ratchet and Clank for children? That's why I'm bringing up Halo, <laughs> no, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm just look at the skulls. You get the skulls, and in return. Number of skulls is what skulls? In the collection in Halo. What skulls are you talking what about? The in the Halo about? series, you collect skulls. Oh, those stupid things! I didn't bother. And then shit. What's, what skulls? <laughs> if you collect skulls in Halo, you get you know. In the original certain... Halo. In all the Halos. Yeah. Collect skulls where? They're hidden all. They're over hidden. The what skulls? You really don't know this? <laughs> so, you collect these, let me explain. You collect these skulls, and as you collect, you have things like Master Chief has a big head. Master Chief, you know, has no legs. 
I'm making some of this up. I apologize. Uh, okay, now the grunts explode confetti. You know how they oh, explode okay. confetti? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, like, yeah. I don't remember collecting skulls for that. I don't ever remember collecting well, skulls for that. That's probably when you were a child. <laughs> which brings us full circle. But no, I like that because it's not, you don't have to collect all of them. When it comes to Devil May Cry and Metal Gear, where you have to collect every single thing. It's not collecting. Not collecting, but collect all the S ranks. Collect all this to get all these great rewards. It's replayability, correct? Yes. To get to the. Yeah, to it's be, mastering wait, a craft. It's, yes, it's mastering a craft. But if you are enjoying the game and you want to just play through the story, and you're like, hey, this seems like a cool thing, I'll collect these. While I go through, it's something where... Basically, what Pete is telling you is that he's the kind of parent that thinks that all the children deserve trophies. <laughs> I'm, I was going to say... That's what, it, that's what that is to me. It's like, oh, you get all these bonus things just by finding this. Yeah. No. But that's... No. Earn it. <laughs> Be good at what you do. But if you're... You don't good. just get it because you explore. Well, some things you actually have to kill monsters in Ratchet Clank in order to get the gold bolts. So, you know, you have to hone in your craft. But that's what I prefer over, over like, oh, just, finding just go here, just go I there, get you. just go here. I understand, but I'm saying for some people, and please let us know in the comments if you're some of these people, is to go through a game if you find it, oh, cool, big head mode. Oh, cool. Oh, I yeah, random this. stuff. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. But I'm not talking about random stuff. We're talking about rewards. We're talking about fucking going and getting it, right? But rewards could be somebody could want to have a ratchet big head. Somebody could want a master chief big head. Yes, they could. No one wants a ratchet big head. They could, but you better fucking work for it, not just look for something. It's not hide and seek. It's fucking Halo. <laughs> Get playing. up front and start blazing guns. What are your thoughts on rewards? Because I'm done talking. About it. I, I kind of like the old. I'm being an old school gamer. I liked it when you beat a game and go to big. Oh yeah, now here's the second quest of the game. Things are different. Things are more challenging. Um, because uh, I remember they did that in like all the classic games, like they did in Mario, then Zelda. I'm trying to remember there's one game where it was like, oh no, Link Between Worlds. I beat the game straight through, loved it, got everything because I'm a Zelda player. I played it a second time, like here's the second quest, and basically now enemies hit harder. I'm like, okay, how harder? And it was like instead of saying enemy, say you bump into an enemy, it takes like half a heart. Now it takes it like a full heart, harder, hard and half. I remember. Mm -hmm. Hit three hits and I was dead after the first minute of the game. I'm like, what the? F okay, now I gotta play, actually learn how to play this game and play defensively. Like I like stuff like that. That's how yeah. I see rewards. Well, what about like 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 the Dante Must Die mode in Devil May Cry? Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I played Dante Must Die mode. I beat Dante but Must that's Die like mode. Playing and easy, I said I'm done. Hard. No, Dante Must Die mode is no, but one I'm hit, saying one hit kills. I know, but I'm saying yeah, that's like it's, it's like you that's can like a never game get mode. Hit. Yes, I know, but that's but like, like a game you mode. can never get hit. Okay, like that's mastering the. There's fucking no argument. Game. No, no, it's, <laughs> no. It was you could play um, easy, medium, hard, and then and then you unlock Dante Must Die mode when you beat hard mode. And I'm like, all right, let me let me see what this all about. I played it. I beat the game. I put the took the game out of the system, put it in the case, put it on the shelf, and I said, "Fuck you, never again." <laughs> But, like, there's certain bonuses that just feel better earning as, as opposed yeah, to like, I understand about going around and chasing down fucking I'm not fairies arguing with somewhere. you, Nicholas. <laughs> I'm just, not arguing. I, just, I, I don't care if you're arguing on behalf. Hey, look. There's the menu we were looking for before. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> you see, like, right next to the, the microphone stand? If you see <laughs> coming coming soon, Sunday's episode, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. When we ordered pizza. You see the menu? There it is. That's the menu. Oh, son of a <laughs> I could have gotten my chicken franchise. Look at that. Oh, stop bitching. Where is it? And who Where did it? I, I think it. they just make it for you. I don't think... Yeah, uh, they make it. Because it's a good goddamn place. I just saw that. I was like, what the fuck is that? I'm not arguing with you. I don't care I'm, if you're... I don't care if you're arguing as Pete or as behalf of the gamers that enjoy collectathons. Fuck! You. <laughs> I, don't I like love you. <laughs> don't listen to him. I don't. I don't. I'll treat you that. well. I'll treat you well. Conkers. It doesn't even make me feel good about playing the game. It's just like now I'm on this fucking. So you must have fucking chase. hated fucking Bandai Mario. Zoe. Mario sixty four. 
Oh, the 120. Actually, stars. Mario 64 wasn't bad. I liked collecting the stars on Mario 64. Oh. Besides grabbing the stars, there was other ones where you had to like jump from pillar to pillar to pillar, and yeah. then like yeah. you get the fucking you get the star. And the hundred like, coin challenge was the worst. But part you of must that have game. hated Banjo Kazooie then. Yeah, I never. I I played about five. Because like you would have to Kazooie. get. Yeah. Uh, notes to o- open you have the to get doors everything. and everything. Notes, eggs, everything yeah. under the yep. sun, and then yeah. to unlock everything. I'm yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah. You, that was, I was not. That no, I played that for about five minutes. That's and what I'm saying. Like, like, no. Yeah, I was like, no. That's <laughs> the reason I wasn't a fan of um, Yoshi's Woolly World. Love the game, but it's just it's a collectathon. Yeah. I'm, I've, I've just. I, but that's the thing. Like, I didn't collect everything in Yoshi's Woolly World. I still had a good time. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you can't have a good time playing a game that is specifically a collectathon. I'm saying the added benefits just don't make you feel fucking good about it. And it's just like there's something to earning it when when where you've mastered like playing the character, you've mastered what their abilities are, you've mastered how to utilize them the best way so that then you can achieve this this goal okay. or whatever it is. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so you love Street Fighter V's survival mode. Oh, yes. Because it's working to get more costumes for the characters. Yes. Okay. That was it. I thought I thought there was more to it than that. You were a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that too. Don't get me wrong. And that's a cool idea to reward the player for honing in on why Cammy is the best character that Nick cannot beat. Oh, sure. And why he wishes he could beat Cammy. Get your ass whooped by Thunder Thighs. Thunder. Oh. Chun Li's got Thunder Thighs. Yo, I beat him with Chun Li too. He can't beat my women. You beat Nikali with Chun Li, dude. You didn't beat anybody serious. Nikali sucks. He's <laughs> yeah. a terrible ass character. Uh, you no, know, Nikali's actually very good. It's yeah, just maybe the player. I just don't <laughs> know, how to, use that well. know how to use him. Because Nikali does have some fucking like nasty fucking combos. Yeah, once he gets there, he, he could take like thirty percent of your health, and that's a reward for something. Ooh, thirty percent. If you hit it three times, that's 90. <laughs> You're halfway home. Is that halfway? Is 90% Is that halfway? how we do math around Is here? Is that how math works? Hey, hey, 80% of the time, I'm right every time. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, tell us what your thoughts are oh, on shit, rewards. Oh, shit, this is a long episode. Yeah, this I is a pretty long episode. Let us know what your thoughts are on rewards. 15 minutes spent on a thought. <laughs> Was that, was that really how long we spent yes. on the thought? I was looking, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Holy shit, that was a lot of Nick, thinking. Nick likes to do, be the longest episode. <laughs> oh, Nick likes to be the... <laughs> you are George. <laughs> Let us know what your thoughts are on rewards. Like, is it better for you to earn them, or do you like to chase them around town? Collect them to get rewards. Yes, as you go they understand. The They've watched the entire episode. Oh, my God. They know God. what side you're on, Pete. <laughs> I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just a... Devil's advocate. No, you're not. You're just a devil. He's let us not. know. Let us know in the comments below what what your if best right. experiences have been. I in, want them in all gaining to be rewards. Shows. Shut the fuck up. Wow. <laughs> it's a great show. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, game, game on. on. No, that's wrong. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Your opinion. <laughs> Sorry, God damn it, you're wrong. You're entitled to your opinion, even though it's wrong. <laughs>